Hey everyone, welcome back and let's write some more neat code today. So today let's solve the problem, even odd tree. We're given a binary tree and we wanna know if it satisfies the conditions of being even odd. The first one isn't really a condition in my opinion, it's more of just defining like what a level in a tree is and basically they start at level zero. So that's just something to keep in mind. Now for every even level, such as this one and this one, the values have to be odd. So if the level is even, the values have to be odd. Not only that, but the values have to be in increasing order. So from three to seven to nine. The first level only has a single value, so it's in increasing order by default. Now, the other part is that all odd levels, so level one and level three, the values have to be even. So it's kind of the opposite of the other levels. So with odd levels, the values have to be even and they have to be in strictly decreasing order. So from 10 down to four, here we go from 12 to eight to six to two. If one of these were equal, like if we have an eight here and an eight over here, that is not strictly decreasing, just so you know. So that's an edge case to worry about. Now, anytime you are at a tree problem, unless it's super unique, there's either gonna be two algorithms you're gonna need, either DFS or BFS. And it turns out that many problems can be solved with both. This is actually a problem that can be solved with both if you wanted to. But tell me, which one of these seems more intuitive to you? To me, probably breadth first search because it's also known as level order traversal. In this case, looking at all values of a single level at a time is gonna be pretty useful. So this algorithm BFS is gonna be helpful. Now, even when you know which algorithm you're gonna use, satisfying all of the conditions isn't super trivial, but it's good to at least make a start if you can. I've personally implemented BFS so many times that I can kind of fill in the holes in my head of exactly what we need to do, but let me explain it to you if you're not at that point yet. With BFS, we will be able to traverse this level in order, and then we'll be able to go to the next level in order and do that for every single level. Now we can have a flag, and I'm gonna use a Boolean to tell us whether we are at an even level or we're at an odd level. We could have an integer and just keep track of the index of the current level. That's one way to do it, but another way is just have a Boolean. We know initially we start at an even level, so this will be set to true. Next, it'll be set to false, et cetera, et cetera. So that's pretty easy. With even levels, we're gonna go through the values in order. We're trying to determine if this is an even odd tree. In this case, this is, so we would return true, but it's not necessarily the case. We know that it's not an even odd tree if we're going through an even level and we find a value that is not odd. So let's check for every single value in this level, make sure that it's odd. If it's not, we can return false immediately. Also, in order, make sure that the values are in increasing order. Now this level is pretty trivial, so let's go to the next level. This is an odd level, so we make sure every value we look at, it is even. If it's not, we return false. And then we, we look at 10. Next, we look at the next value. We make sure that it is even, it is, and we make sure that it is smaller than the previous value. So that's something we're gonna have to keep track of. Now, when we're looking at this one, we don't really have a previous value. So for odd levels, let's just assume that the previous value is infinite. Then this will always be smaller than infinity. Now, when we get to an even level, we're gonna make sure all of these are odd and we're gonna make sure that this one is larger than this one, this one is larger than this one, and this one is larger than whatever came before it, but there's nothing. So in this case, let's assume that there is a negative infinity over here. And then we would do the exact same thing with this level. So we will use the Boolean to determine if we're at an even level or an odd level, and then we will implement our algorithm accordingly. So here, this is 12. It is smaller than infinity, which is what we would assume would be here. This is eight, it's smaller. Six is smaller, two is smaller, and all of these values are even. We went through the entire thing. We didn't return false at any point, so at the end, we would return true. BFS is big O of N time complexity, where N is the number of nodes in the tree, it is also in the worst case, big O of N space complexity, because for a full binary tree, 
the bottom level is going to be roughly half the size, and we know n divided by 2 is still proportionate to big O of n. So now let's go ahead and code it up. So I'm going to have that flag that I talked about. It's going to tell us if we are at an even level. I'm initially going to set it to true because the first level is even. And then I'm going to have a Q data structure. And I'm going to initialize it with the root of the tree. We are guaranteed to have at least one node, so we can assume that root is not going to be null. And then we are going to do the breadth first search. I've written this so many times that I don't even have to think about it. But if you are new to this, I will explain it step by step. So we are now going to go through the current level of the tree. So everything that is in the queue at this point in time. So we can get the length of the queue in a variable like this. And then we can say for in range length of the queue at that point in time. And in here, we're going to pop from the queue and add to the queue. So that's why I take a snapshot. Now, in many languages, you need to do it this way. But Python, actually, the range itself is a function. So if we pass this in, like this code is equivalent to what I'm about to show you, just putting this and passing it here. In many languages, that's not the case. In Python, it is. So now we pop from the queue. So we are going to say pop left and we're going to get the node. Now, depending on if the current level is even or it's odd, we are going to update our algorithm accordingly. So if the level is even, then we want to make sure that every node value is odd. So let's check the opposite. Let's check that actually we found a node value that's even. If that's the case, we don't have to do anything else. We can immediately return false because we know for sure this is not an even odd tree. And the other part is if it's an even level, even if the value is fine, we have to make sure that this is in strictly increasing order for an even level. So what we would have to check is that if it's not in strictly increasing order, if node dot value is less than or equal to the previous value, in that case, we also would return false. Otherwise, we know that it's perfectly valid and we don't have to return false. Now, one thing we haven't declared is the previous value. And that's going to depend on whether it's even or odd. But we don't want to have to declare it in here every single time. We want to do it before we even go through the level. So we would do this. So previous is going to be set to negative uh, infinity if we are at an even level. Otherwise, we're going to set it to positive infinity because when we're even, we want to be in strictly increasing order and negative infinity will guarantee that. And I forgot the negative sign, so let me add it before I forget. Otherwise, we're going to do the opposite. So one little optimization here, you can see before I even get into the else, actually, let's do the else first. It's basically going to be the opposite of this. So you can at this point actually just turn your brain off and just say this modded by two is going to be equal to one. And this is going to be greater than or equal to previous. But you can see here that this if statement is inside of this one. And there's only a single one here. So we can kind of combine these. So we're going to do if even end. We're going to check that one of these is true and then we would return false. Otherwise, else if uh, not even and one of these is true. So not really an optimization, but just kind of cleaning up the code a little bit. And now uh, we're going to add the children of this node to the queue, even though those children nodes are not going to be processed in this iteration of the loop because we took a snapshot of the length of our queue before we started going through it. So we make sure that we only go through one level at a time. So now let's check. If node.left is non-null, then we're going to add it to the queue because we don't want to add null to the queue. If we did that, then we'd kind of have to worry about it. We'd have to check like another if statement here if node is not null. Otherwise, we'd get like a null pointer error here. So that's why we're doing it like this. So queue.append node.left if it's non-null. Same thing uh, with the right child if node.right. Go ahead and append it. Now, there's just a little bit of bookkeeping that we need to do, uh, mainly updating the variable. So previous over here should be updated after every iteration of this loop because we want to make sure that we keep track of the current nodes in the current level. So previous is going to be equal to node.value. And out here, we do need to make sure that we keep track of what level we're at. So even is always going to be set to the opposite of itself. And that is the entire code. So we'll return false 
if it's not an even odd tree. And down here, let's return true if we never ended up executing one of those falses. So this is the entire code. Let's run it to make sure that it works. And as you can see on the left, yes, it does. And it's pretty efficient. Consider checking out neatcode.io if you're preparing for coding interviews. Thanks for watching and I'll see you soon.